Hey guys, today I'd like to talk a little about the new mission that came with the update. I noticed that many people are still having problems getting their first Falcon Lost Incursion completion, so I decided to quickly show you a few things I learned to make it much easier. Since getting overloaded with enemies and explosions is quite easy, especially with the LMB snipers, the absolute best place I've seen yet to camp out is near the middle of the room below the staircase as shown in the video. There, the APC's missiles can hardly hit you, and enemies are easy to focus on and keep contained, preventing an overload. It's especially helpful that most of the sniper positions can be seen, allowing you to kill them each one at a time. The snipers are one of the most important enemies to kill first. However, sometimes enemies do rush down from the middle and stairs, but not too often. It's usually just drones and shotgunners. Either way, it's easy to focus fire and clear up the space downstairs once again. Just try to make sure support stations are placed around in the event that a player is downed or ammo or health is needed. And speaking of ammo, two resupplies are located in the area and are refilled after every time the bomb is planted on the APC. Now to talk a little about the bombs. As you might already know, every few waves a bomb carrier spawns. Once killed, the drop bomb must be planted on the APC to do damage. The tactic that most people prefer is to have two people on each side turn off the turrets. My problem with that is that spreading out can be dangerous and there still might be excess enemies when it must be planted, making it much more difficult. I found that having at least one person or running survivor link made it incredibly easy to attach bombs and run. Since movement speed and damage resistance is significantly increased, it's easy to hit one turret button on the left side, pop the signature, arm the bomb, and run back to the original spot without dying. This works amazingly even when there are a ton of enemies still alive. Just make sure to judge how many people need to help push up depending on the amount of danger at the moment. I suggest that everybody moves up with their signatures when arming the final bomb as shooting a majority of the wave is pointless. And that's really it, not a difficult tactic at all, but certainly an effective one. I'm unsure whether this sort of tactic is already in use, but not a single group or video I've seen have covered it completely. Now the video shown is in hard mode, but I guarantee you that the spot holds up well even in the challenge mode, but that's for later. I hope this helped those of you that were struggling, and you'll get some of those sweet set pieces which I will be talking about in another video very soon. If you're interested in plenty more Division videos in the future, feel free to like and subscribe. It's always appreciated. Thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.